Uh, I've got uh, little Sophie here. Um, she just turned one the other week. Um, she's a bit cheeky, but uh, yeah, she's a joy. And my eldest daughter, Stella, um, my firstborn. Love her to bits. Um, yeah, she's she's really into the footy now as well, and um, yeah, she loves it. And this is Katie, my partner Katie. So yeah, just um, <laughs> good to have her um, support every week. Um, I had to tell her to stop preparing my footy bag because that's um, something that I like to do. Um, but yeah, she's really supportive. Yeah, um, yeah, really grateful just to be able to make 150. So um, yeah, really, yeah, really thankful to get there. It's very special playing my 150 off on the um, centenary game day as well. Um, very strong roots with the Buffalo Football Club with my family. Um, so yeah, really honoured that it just worked out. The timing was good. Um, it was back when I was, I think I was just turned 17, um, and I was playing for Nightcliff then. Um, Uncle Majo was a coach. Um, we're playing Waratahs. Uh, I think I'm not too sure if we got the win. But I know it was a pretty tough game. Um, probably the only main thing I remembered at the end was just um, Michael Madge just saying after the game, just need to get fitter, but uh, it was good to get that opportunity. <laughs> just being quite young when um, given the captaincy before I went to Melbourne um, kind of shaped me to be a bit more of a leader um, out in the field and off the field as well. Um, and just pushed me to train even harder and um, just really show Actions speak louder than words as well. Yeah. Jonah Clark's been given the benefit of the doubt and has got a kick. Wills, quickly, sends it forward looking for Edwards. Back in the middle. Wills trying to collect, does. Right foot kick, sends it forward to the Michael Long learning He's run away with it there. Now he has a bounce. He gets great chase there by the by Collinson, I think it was. In fact, it was the skipper, Wills. Well, if you want your, if you want your captain to work, and be a leader on the field, that's it. Um, some memorable games was just playing with my uh, idol growing up, Andrew McLeod. Um, was really good to play a few games with him over the last couple of years. And um, just beating St Mary's for the first time um, last year, after 10 years of just getting hammered. Yeah, it was really, yeah, really good to get that win. <laughs> this year just be up. Oh. <laughs> You know, Darn Buffalo has been really close as a family, as my great-great-grandfather played one of the first Buffalo teams ever. Um, yeah, it's just a great family club, um, you know, just having those grassroots there as well as the family is really, makes me really passionate to play every time I put the jumper on. Um, yeah, just really gives me that motivation to give my all as well, just thinking about all the past legends that's played as well, yeah. He's very, um, like, all about his preparation, so he's normally stretching and, you know, I don't know, watching games before and stuff like that. Not nothing funny or odd. <laughs> yeah, I can see my girls playing for the uh, Buffets in the future. Um, yeah, looking forward to them chucking the jumper on. I'm going to be uh, hopefully not too tough on them to get fit. Um, yeah, just what I love is about the open spaces and the speed that it brings to the t from the territory as well. Um, it's just the environment around as well because Darwin's you know, a pretty small place so everyone gets down to footy and it's just a good environment for the families and that to be around. Um, and yeah, just like the special mention to that, obviously my family um, and just my dad for always being there and just supporting me and helping me out through my uh, journey.